Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back. Uh, another episode of Quick Hits. We're going to get into boxing's pay per view problem. The Tank Davis numbers are in. We got Plant and Benavides going to pay per view on March 25th. Uh, we're going to get into all the issues that causes. But before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow 3D Boxing, all forms of social media uh, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Um, also, please subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. Um, all right, let's get into today's show. Um, Tank Davis and uh, Hector Garcia, the, the pay-per-view numbers are in. They're not good. They're 61,000. You know, initially, I thought they were going to be low. I'm on Boxing Twitter. You know, Boxing Twitter is pretty live. Um, it, it, it's pretty, you know, pretty on it. I'm thinking this is going to do bigger than that. You know, I, I initially said between 50 to 100,000. Watch them. I was like, okay, maybe it does double that. Like, it's, it's it's doing good. Maybe it does 100 to 200, you know. Um, the numbers came in at 61. That's not great. Like, that is not real good. That's pretty bad. You know, that's Terrence Crawford-esque. It's better than Bud. <laughs> Actually, Bud's done 61,000 combined with two pay-per-views. Um, but... It's just not a great number. It's not a great look, and it's not going to get better. This Plant Benavides fight isn't going to do better. Charging boxing fans somewhere between sixty and eighty bucks a month to watch good fights is not a great model. Look, Tank Davis is a star. He's a boxing star. He's got everything you'd want in a star: punching power, right, athleticism, personality. He's got everything you'd want in a star. When you hide him. Behind a seventy or eighty dollar price point, you're not doing him any justice. And I'll, I'll make an example: if the NCAA tournament, right, college basketball is a niche sport, but it has this tournament, right, that kind of garners the attention of the casual fan, this big, big thing. If they put that on pay per view and charge seventy dollars to watch a day of basketball, we got the whole, you know, you got that weekend, right? How many people would buy that? Only hardcores. The people you've already attracted, you're not going to grow the fan base anymore, right? Like if you have a hardcore, hardcore basketball fans, they may buy the $70 to watch the tournament for a day or for the weekend, whatever, right? $70 around, let's say. You're, you're not getting the casual fan, thus you're not growing the sport. Right, you you're not getting anyone. You're not enticing anyone into the sport, and that's boxing's problem, right? Benavides versus Plant is a really good fight. Plant's a really good fighter, fun to watch. Benavides is a potential star, a future star, star making ability. Putting him behind this price point is not good for boxing. It's not good for boxing, and it's ultimately it's not good for Benavides or Plant. There's no. Big picture. Everything is immediate gain. But now these pay-per-view numbers are so small because you've bombarded the market. You've overflowed the market with all of these pay-per-views once a month, basically, on fights that are good. But, uh, you know, if I miss it, I miss miss it. Like, if I miss Terrence Crawford versus Avon Eason, I don't, I don't care, right? Tiafima Lopez versus Sandal Martin, which I thought was a better fight, was on for free. Like, so what, what am I going to watch? A, a free fight I think is better, more intriguing. Or a, a lesser fight for $70. I think that was $50 for that one. This is not complicated. The same thing. Hank Lundy versus Adrian Broner. I guess I'd watch it for free. You want me to buy that? I, I don't I don't see too many people buying that, even though Adrian Broner is a star. This is not a sustainable model. And and like this once a month thing, it's 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 gonna destroy the sport sport. They have to get away from the pay-per-view model. Right, like put the NFL playoffs. The NFL playoffs are going on right now. They draw amazing ratings. Amazing ratings. What if you put them on a, you know behind a seventy dollar price point? Well, not, not 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 so many people are going to watch it, right? But the reason why football, one of the reasons why football became so popular in just the last thirty years, right? Because remember, in ninety four, it sounds crazy. The NFL was staring at bankruptcy before Jerry Jones uh, of the owners of the Cowboys brokered a deal with Fox. And got this huge, massive TV rights deal. Um, the reason why it's become so popular in the last 30 years is because you can watch every game. You can watch football all Sunday, Monday, and Thursday and not really have to pay for it, right? Just basic cable gets you all of those games. 
You can watch football. You know, you can watch eight games a week and just have a basic cable subscription. You don't even need HBO, Showtime, just your regular ESPN. You get all those games, and that's why it's been so successful, right? Just like boxing. Basically, boxing is once a week. Football is once a week. Kind of Friday, Saturday, but basically, fights are on Saturday. Football is on Sunday. And the reason why it's growing is because it, you can grow a fan base by giving them free. And it's not, like it's not free. You go massive TV deals. You get advertisers, sponsors. You know, you pay five million dollars for a thirty second ad from Super Bowl, whatever it is, right? Like it works. That model works in every other sport. It can work in boxing, but you have to grow it over time. You can't put Plant Benavides a good fight, and I want to watch. Behind a seventy dollars price point, and if you talk to people under the age of thirty, the idea, the concept of buying a pay per view to them is laughable. Like the quality of the content is just as good on a streaming service. I can stream that thing for free. You're going to charge me seventy dollars a month in, a, in in this tough economy to watch a fight, a non-title fight between Caleb Plant and David Benavides. That is laughable. The fact that you're going to pay for any fight for them is laughable. They're not going to do it. They stream everything. Like, they stream NBA games, right? It's just, that's the way it is. Like, you're not going to get them to pay that. So that is, the model itself is sustainable because you, you can't sell it to the younger demographic because they get it for free. I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but I'm saying it's not sustainable because they're going to get it for free. So right now, the only thing you're marketing to is, I would say, is the 40 and over crowd of hardcore boxing fans. That's your fan base. That was Major League Major League Baseball's fan base. Major League Baseball's fan base now is 40 and over white guys for the most part. That's basically their fan base. And the sport is dying a slow death. I mean, they didn't market it. They didn't, you know, they didn't they didn't market it towards anyone else. They, they didn't grow it. It's just it's, it's old. And I, I love baseball. Played baseball my whole life, but it, they didn't grow the sport. They didn't market it to younger generations. They just kind of let it age with its fan base. And now you basically missed an entire generation. And, and boxing is going to do that same thing. It, it's just marketing its sport to people 40 and over who are maybe have some money and maybe will buy the pay-per-view, right? But if, if you want to get younger people to watch it, you buy to put it on TV or or, 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 or the zone, right? Like, it, it, the zone's price is now getting a little hefty. ESPN, these apps that are, are a couple bucks a month. Or just put it on TV. Or a monthly streaming service. If you said PBC for 100 bucks a year, 50 bucks a year, you get every single PBC fight. People would buy that. And Top Rank and, 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 and the zone, I mean, Matchroom, and, and it could, could all do something similar. They could all do something similar, right? But they, they just want the immediate payday right now like every fight is not a canelo fight every fight's not a floyd or a pacquiao fight right like these fights shouldn't be on pay those fights shouldn't be on pay you either but i understand why they are because they, they, they garner so much money um but these fights don't warrant that um let me know what you guys think leave your thoughts comments below how do you think this caleb plant david benavides fight will do on pay-per-view the tank number is in it's sixty-one thousand. please let me know what you guys think of that uh it is january 19th 2023 Oh, please like, share, subscribe, text us, uh, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, all from social media. Um, please subscribe to Texas Boxing Scene, our other channel completely dedicated to Texas Boxing. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Um, it is January 19th, 2023. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.